good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome project so let's get cracking Friends, we are here with my large honeycomb bed from ComGrow and the Laser Man laser cutter. I have got a design which I'll show you in a minute for a honeycomb for a honeycomb bed pin. Notice when we push this in, that one's not quite as tight. I made a second version, and we can use these to hold our projects in place just like that friends it's working like a champ they print really really fast and i'm giving you the design for free in tinkercad if you want to mod it you can make it look any way you want but wait there's more i have also created a straight line bed pin they actually fit just like this so you can lock it in place and now you have got a straight line to do your next project. Now you may wonder why, well let me show you. All right, so let's power on the laser. The first step is I do need to connect the flying bear. As you can see, I am going to be doing two projects at once. Now over here on the laser man, let's do a shift nudge to get that out to where I put that straight line. We are going to be marking the back of our Mount Pisca keychains and because of this straight line I can now drop that in and get this set up so I can do it again and again. If I nudge back we can get it closer to in place. Let's check the height. Drop that down, tighten it in, pull it out and we're good. I'm going to line this up right with the edge, so once I get this all set up, I'll be able to do that for each one. Let's do back and left and left, and let's try a frame right there. I'm going to do a control click left, and try that one more time. That is pretty darn awesome. And of course, friends, let's grab some safety glasses and let's make something magical. Alright, so we're going to leave that in place, but if you zoom in, bingo, you can see we have marked the back. It was that easy. Now you can also see that I have stacked them, so let's see if we can just nudge this forward and do keychain number two. Alright, so nudge number one is 10 millimeters. Nudge number two is 10 millimeters. Alright friends, real quickly, these are about 20 millimeters, which I wish I would say was intentional, but it is just dumb luck. So that was our two clicks. Let's put on those safety glasses and let's give it another test. Of course, I'm going to speed this up with video editing just because we've already seen that part of the project. Alright friends, so this is where it gets really cool. Because of my jig and the fact that we lined it up with this corner, I don't even have to keep this anymore. I can simply pull those two out. I can pull the next two down. I'm going to do a shift nudge to move the laser out of the way. So that way I've memorized that nudge. And now if I bring it right back to that spot and that spot, those two are lined up. I'm going to simply do the shift nudge to get back to the previous point. And then I'm going to do the nudge nudge to get to the bottom one. And this is how if you've got everything marked up, life gets cooler. 
Now I am going to make a slight modification. The lines are not showing up as much as I'd like on my wood. I'm going to simply add a second pass for where I'm cutting those letters instead of changing the speed. Friends, once again, let's grab those safety glasses and let's make something magical. Absolutely loving that. Quickly going to do my move. Tap, tap. Of course, the goggles are on. Let's run it one more time. And finally, let's check out what we made. Absolutely loving the backs. That was easy peasy. And there are the fronts of the sweet Mount Pisgah keychains. Friends, I do want to give one more shout out to the Comgro bread. This is absolutely awesome. Now let me quickly show you how to make this awesome part in Tinkercad. Friends, real quickly, this is my website, ahlmodtech.com, and this is my lasers page. Of course, this is built to fit my Comgro honeycomb bed. This is the link to Tinkercad. If you simply want to download what's done, it's right here. So I'm going to show you how to get to Tinkercad. When we click this button, it'll take you right to this page. If you've never used Tinkercad before, I always recommend using sign in with Google and then you can click copy and tinker. Now here are the two files you get to play with. There is the line and there is the simple pin. I have got a ton of lessons about Tinker, but real quickly, let me just show you something. This is Control D. It lets me make another one so I don't break my copy. This is how you ungroup it so you can see the pieces that I have. These right here are simply rectangles that I have stretched and rotated. To do that, you simply to do that, you simply grab the little handles. The white one here is going to go down. The black ones only move one direction, so that is one thing I recommend as you're playing. If you click on the handle, it tells you the height, so you can pick whatever numbers you want. If you right-click drag with your mouse, it orbits. If you click on it, you'll find this little handle. If you stay close to the shape, it rotates to these tick marks 22 and a half degrees if you come out it does one degree at a time I wanted two of those so I did control D to duplicate took the second one used mirror and then you can nudge it with the arrow keys to the exact location you want so that's how you would modify these is using those kind of techniques once again if you want to learn all about Tinkercad I, I recommend you follow one of my beginner videos and I'll make sure I have it posted up there now that I've got all these parts back together, I'm going to select them and do Control G to group. Once you've made your modifications, you can click on the project. You can choose export and send it as an STL. Notice I'm only doing the selected shape for 3D printing. I will show you one more thing really quick on this. I'm going to take this and hide it so it's out of my way. And if you want to change the measurements on this, it's best to set the work plane on the shape. The work plane is now set to that flat face instead of the way it was a moment ago. I'm gonna do Control Z to undo all that and I'll just show you how it would have messed up. If I have this as my work plane and I stretch this handle, notice that skews really funny. That's because I did not have the work plane on there first. I'm gonna do Control Z to put that back. I'm gonna do Show All to bring it all back. And then finally, I'm going to select those parts again and choose group. 
Notice this is a copy, so you are not wrecking anything I created. If you made a mistake and wanted to go back, if you simply relaunch this, you'll have a brand new copy and can continue to play. So friends, in wrapping up, I just want to remind you about my website with all those awesome categories. Of course, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. And of course, friends, do not forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to remind you about the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have got a ton of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.